Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to show you how to make patina. This applies to anything that you want that's in steel that you want to have that nice patina, rustic, antique look. I'm going to be doing it on this Classic Nation sign. You may be doing it on your classic hot rod or rat rod, whatever you want to do. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. Follow along. Here's my recipe for how I make patina. So for the rust activator, there's literally only three things that you need. First, white vinegar. Grab it at a grocery store. Nothing special, right? Dollar, two dollars a gallon. Piece of cake. Easy. Second thing, hydrogen peroxide. Also available at a grocery store straight up hydrogen peroxide. You can find it almost anywhere. The last thing you probably have in your kitchen, but to keep your wife happy, you're probably gonna wanna go buy some at, a, at the grocery store. Salt, table salt. So literally the three things that you're gonna be using, vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and salt. Now, how much of each? Good question. For me, I just kinda wing it. I probably fill it about this high with hydrogen peroxide, fill it about this high with vinegar, and then put probably this much in the bottom of salt. Cool, once you have that good and mixed, it's basically time to start spraying it. So let's see how this goes. I mean, you, there's not really a rhyme or reason. You just wanna have good coverage. You can go super uh, heavy in some spots if you wanna get some nice runs. Again, this is where the artistic component kicks in and this is this is way more artsy than I tend to get, but you get to, you get to have your own creative liberties on this part. Spray it as heavy or as light as you'd like to achieve different rusting results. So you can see what I'm gonna do here. So I open this up right there as a spray. Here we go. And you can see almost immediately it's going to start to rust, which is pretty cool. I can already see rust color coming off of it there. So there you go, coat number one, done. I already see a ton of rust color on it, which is pretty crazy. Um, you're just gonna let this sit, let that soak in. We're gonna come back, we're probably gonna do a couple of coats of this. We're just gonna dab it off, but you're gonna see really quickly how this actually rusts up. So again, there's nothing fake about this patina. This is just accelerated patina. This is still rust. This is just how you achieve it without letting your uh, car or sign sit out in a field for 30 years. So here you go. Let's see how it turns out. All right, boom. Now that everything is rusted up the way that I want it, now it's time to cure it, to stop the rust, to seal it, to preserve it. There's only two things that go into this concoction, and those are boiled linseed oil, just like this. Grab it at any Home Depot, Lowe's, box store, wherever you buy uh, all of your, uh, wherever you buy paints and thinners, wherever you get that kind of stuff. Box stores, namely, and Second thing, odorless mineral spirits. Again, buy these at the same spot. Wherever this one is, this one's probably not far away. Boiled linseed oil, mineral spirits. Mix those two together and then just rub it on really nice. That's what I'm gonna do next. Let's get after it. Here we go. 10 to one or thereabouts. That's way more than I'm gonna need. Enough. Okay. 
like that? Did you like what you saw? If you did, click on subscribe and you'll go right to it. I don't, I don't want to forget what you said. That's good. Click like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah.